Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Historic College Football Playoff, this one for the 1987 season, so let's just hop into it. We will start things off in the Orange Bowl at the number 1 Oklahoma Sooners take on number 4 Syracuse. Oklahoma would start the scoring in the first as Charles Thompson would find the end zone. Syracuse would respond though later in the first as Don McPherson would take this play action rollout all the way across the line for the score. Oklahoma would not be slowed though as Jamil Holiday would get a score of his own on this option keeper. Syracuse would soon tie things back up as McPherson would find Tommy Kane in the end zone. As the half is coming to a close, Holloway would throw a touchdown of his own, finding Keith Jackson for six. Syracuse would move quickly though and kick this ball through the uprights to make it a four point game at the half. And they'd carry that momentum into the second half as Robert Drummond would take this ball up the middle for the score and the lead. The Sooner offense would still be chugging along though, as Holloway would find cabbiness deep for the score and to retake the lead. Syracuse would respond with this field goal to make it a one point game. Oklahoma would then soon respond with one of their own. And that would do it, as Oklahoma wins it 31-27 to advance the national championship. We now hop from the east coast to the west coast and the Rose Bowl as the number two Miami Hurricanes take on the number three Florida State Seminoles. Florida State would start the scoring in the first as Dane Williams would get in from just under five yards out. Miami would soon not things up though as Melvin Bratton would find the end zone. Not long after though, Florida State would retake the lead as Danny McManus would find Herb Gaynor for six. Miami would respond with this field goal. And then after a defensive stop, they'd add another one to make it a one point game. Florida State would then get one of their own as we head to the half, with the Seminoles up 17 to 13. Midway through the third, Steve Walsh would look deep and connect with Michael Irving for the first hurricane lead of the day. And that would do it. Both offenses would be shut out for the rest of the game as Miami goes on to win it 20 to 17. Now before we head to the national championship, I'd just like to take a moment to ask you to like the video if you are enjoying it. And if you have not already, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you will get notified the next time one of these videos come out. On to the national championship. We now head to New Orleans, Louisiana, as those Miami Hurricanes will be taking on the Oklahoma Sooners in the national championship game. After a scoreless first quarter, Miami would put this ball through the uprights for the first score of the day. Oklahoma would respond not long after with this short field goal. In the third, the first touchdown of the day would occur as Holloway would take this option keeper across the line. And that would do it. The Oklahoma Sooners would win the defensive slugfest 10-3 to claim the national championship. Thank you all for watching. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like. Uh, if you have not already, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. Again, thank you for watching. Bye.